Let's talk about Concrete Section and the basic layout of the program. When you first start Concrete Section, you'll see a screen similar to the one that's shown here, where you'll find on the left-hand side a list of any of your previous Concrete Section projects. And if you hover your mouse over them, as you can see, an image will show what the project looks like. In addition, we have example projects for you to look at under an Example Projects tab. The main part of the screen is showing us that we have basic concrete shapes that we can start off with, and we also have a blank project. Let's pick one of these basic concrete shapes, say this T, and when I click on it, we'll see that Concrete Section Program comes up, and we have a dialog that allows us to specify some of the properties of the basic shape, like the width and the depth, the number of bars on the top and the bottom and sidebars. I'm just going to select OK to take the defaults. And when I do that, we now see we have a T-shape with reinforcing. So this is a very quick way, if you have a standard shape, to get started. Concrete Section Program is laid out as follows. On the left side, we have a Project Manager that is going to allow us to modify anything that might be selected. We have a filter, which allows us to turn off things like, say, the dimension lines. So filter allows us to change the graphical display. And then lastly, we have the drawing grid, which you can see currently is a rectangular grid. We can turn that off if we want, turn it back on. We have many predefined grids that we can look at, polar grids and XY grids that you can use to lay out the cross-section for drawing. In another video, we'll take a look at how you draw an arbitrary shape. Across the top, we have a ribbon, which allows us to select the basic things you can do in the program. For example, we have a zoom in and a zoom out in the ribbon if we'd like to change the view. We also have graphic windows, the main part of the program here in the center, and currently, we're looking at the Reinforced Concrete section. In addition, we have views for interaction diagrams. We have a reporting view, which we'll look at in other demonstrations. Lastly, at the bottom of the screen, we have what's called the Find tool. And if I click on that, I can find various things. Let's switch back to the Reinforced Concrete section, View, and you'll see that we can list the shapes that are available, the reinforcing steel, and select that one by one. So the Find tool can be very handy to pick out things in your model. Finally, over on the right-hand side, we have the project status, where we can see the process that's going on in analysis of your section. You can see we've done meshing, and that's done. We don't have any loads currently. We do have results, and the analysis is done. So that's a very quick look at the way Concrete Section is laid out.